<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Overwatch lovers and haters. Welcome back to our newest Overwatch reaction, where we have Venture, the newest hero coming, I believe, in Season 10. So, this isn't gonna only be a Venture reaction, this is also gonna be a sort of, um, stopping in and kind of talking about everything that's going on with Overwatch, kind of just a touching point, so to say. Because I have definitely been a very strict and not too kind observer and reviewer of Overwatch 2. Now, who am I to really say that? I mean, obviously, I've played a lot of Overwatch 1. I've played since release, and I've played a lot of Overwatch 2. Uh, I don't think more than Overwatch 1, because Overwatch 2 has only been out for not that long. Even though it's Overwatch 1, let's be real. It's Overwatch 1.5. But, you know, this is where every video I make about Overwatch, it's mostly just a complaining hate video. And I don't expect this to be any different at all, because Overwatch sucks fucking ass now. I will always give respect where it's due. From where it started to where it is, Overwatch has made some serious improvements, I will not lie. However, there are very obvious things that the game is doing, that the game is changing, that are, in my opinion, either at best nonsensical and don't matter, or at worst not good and kind of scummy, but that's not necessarily on the gameplay side. Balancing-wise, the game is kind of up in the air. The I think the people are kind of stupid with how they balance, and I think a lot of people would agree with me. But I'm just talking about the general systems of the game, what they're focusing on, what they're kind of doing. I mean, you know, it's no secret that they've kind of given up on PvE. PvE is kind of just done. Like, like they knew it was going to be a flop. They, they dreamed too high, you know. Similar to the story of Icarus, they flew too close to the sun. They tried to do the impossible... And they definitely got burnt and then more. Now, the sad part is, will Overwatch change because of this? No, not really. Overwatch will continue to live until it fizzes out in a very sad, depressing, shit way. Like, it's not going to be a big thing that kills Overwatch. It's just going to die slowly and painfully. But it's going to die, again, very, very slowly because this game is a cash cow. It's a money, it's a money net. It's free to play, which was probably the best decision they ever made for them. Maybe not for us because it changed the monetization, it changed everything. Now, the game is still releasing stuff. And the biggest thing that people always liked and wanted, aside from the promise of a PvE that solved every PvE problems of being ultimately replayable to no end and being amazing, was the multiplayer. We have Venture coming out. Now, Season 10 is changing a couple of things. And a lot of things, I would say, again, are getting better. But the problem is not from where the game was to where the game is, it's where the game should have started. Ever since Overwatch 1 got put out in the back burner for the nonsensical, you know, non-existent PvE that we never got, a lot of heroes could have came out. They could have. We haven't gotten a DPS hero in a while. Venture is the newest DPS hero. And I'm saying he by accident because it's actually a they, them. I believe they're non-binary, but I'm not sure exactly. But essentially, Venture is the next DPS hero, and they are, you know, we haven't had a DPS hero in a while. They're, they're the newest DPS. So, we're going to see if they're good. I personally think, again, the main issues with Overwatch is, number one, there's a big clash between the monetization and the actual people who make the game. I know the people who make the game are not in charge of monetization, but the monetization, especially when you had something better, which wasn't even that good, but we had something better that was taken away and going from something bad to something worse feels really really bad although new no, you know new players won't know that new free-to-play players won't know that but it's just like we had something better we came to it worse and the monetization is just so shitty it really hampers my enjoyment of the game because it has to do with progression as well as what you gain and to me and to a lot of other people the battle pass andes you know it's a really important thing now again they're also changing the battle pass thing where the mythic skins can basically be got any season and you could just work on them. So that's overall good. And I was a little harsh in my previous Overwatch reaction. I kind of took it too harshly. But apparently, you know, they're finally adding the coins into the Battle Pass. Thank the fucking good lord in heaven and hell. Like, oh my god. I finished the Battle Pass way before the season ends anyway. So it's a good thing that once I finish it, I could just kind of be done. I don't care about the stupid titles that you need to grind out. It's great. There's a lot of great changes coming. It's just the finish line and the starting line should have been different places there is no finish line with overwatch 2 it's a live service game but the starting line 
we're just not even at it yet. Like, this should have been the beginning of the game. Overwatch comes out with shit too slow, and they just don't come out with the right things. Because, again, the stupid green ranked weapons are fucking ridiculous. Now, I don't want to make this a whole rank, because I'm going to keep going and going. So, let's just look at Venture. Because that's the whole purpose of this whole video. Let's just look at Venture, react to him, have a great time. Because every time I make an Overwatch video, it's ending up being a hate rage video, which I like. I like raging on the game. Because the only reason I rage on it is because I want to see it better. People typically won't really get angry at something unless it hurts them because they have a vested interest in it. Or they're just haters. But I don't think I'm the second one, even though I kind of am. So let's take a look at Venture. Let's see his trailer. Let's see what's going on. We'll see if there's anything else to react to as well. Begin excavation log. There. Sloan Cameron here all inside to Petra. Is he on like a different planet? What is this? Oh, that looks like an Anubis thing. This is the new map, I think. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is the stupid map, Petra. Yeah. You gotta go through me. Whoa. Oh yeah, he's digging in. Burrow. Oh, it's like a Moira fade. Oh, Malga's angry. Venture don't care. Drill dash. Ooh. He just drills you. What the fuck? Okay, so he has a little bit of pushback. I. Oh god. Oh no, not Doom's cock. Oh, you think you're safe, man? No. He could jump, or they, they could jump. Ooh, his ult, his ult! What the fuck is he doing? Tonic shock. What, he stuns them? Oh, I guess he does. Oh. Oh shit. He is Anubis. Okay, so cool. So there's some lore uh, implications here. So, ooh, brain freeze. So the big thing I wonder, right, is kind of not related to Venture at all, even though they kind of teased it here. It's like, what's happening with the whole PvE story missions that obviously were going to flop? Who the fuck think they weren't, right? The fact that you have to pay for those and they're, they are what they are. Like, it starts to have the little cutscenes and everything. Realistically, people are just going to look it up on YouTube. But it's like, the gameplay itself kind of just sucks ass. And you're playing for gameplay that we kind of should have already got for free. So, and we kind of were already getting for free. So it's like, why are they wasting time on this? This obviously wasn't going to sell, right? It's no, you know, surprise to anyone, I think, that the, the hero missions suck ass. Or the story missions, whatever the fuck they are. So, this is where Venture, just to react to him kind of right now, he looks interesting. I wish they showed his kit in a different way. This trailer wasn't terrible, but it didn't really show much. And obviously, you know, it's a trailer. They're, they're not going to show a lot. But, I mean, obviously the digging thing we already knew about. I want to see his regular fire. I mean, he obviously drills you a little bit. I'm curious to see his damage jumps. I don't know if he's competitive or not. Because, unfortunately, I am a competitive person at the game. I want to play what's good, not what sucks ass. So, just speaking on Venture himself, and not talking about all the other shit with the game I usually do, I don't know, or fuck, I keep saying he, they, they don't really, I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl, honestly, they look interesting, the ult, they barely showed, like, I just don't know what they do, they definitely look interesting, though, but I gotta see, I don't know if I'll play them, I don't know if they're hit scan. I mean, it looks like they definitely have projectiles, so you do have to track a little bit. I personally like hit scan more. I'm not against tracking as well, but and projectile people. But I don't know. Let me let me let me relook at this. Let me relook at this a tad bit. So yeah, he drills him. He shoots him, but it was right on his ass, so I couldn't tell if that's hit scan or not. So he can go back into digging. So he could pop out and then just go back in real quick. He has the dash. Okay, that looks like a projectile. I wonder if he could rapid fire that shit. Like, I'm really curious to like how good it'll be because it looks like he has to go kinda in your face to do his combo. The only other person I could think of that kind of gets in your face is kind of Reaper. Like Reaper gets in your face. But he has things to help him. He has the heal, he has the lifesteal, and he has fade. Now, you know. 
venture over here has the dig but it looks like that takes a little bit of time to do and you're not necessarily going to do that in the middle of combat i hope so this is pretty interesting let, let me see if they revealed his um their, their uh stuff let's see okay so they didn't reveal anything else fuck excuse me i don't know i'm not feeling a good vibe with them a little weird like the ult, you just like do it up, right? It kind of reminds me of a um I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. For anyone who's played Smite, it kind of reminds me of Gebo, but like it obviously stuns them, but we don't even see how like obviously we can't tell how much damage does. I don't know. I think Venture's whole thing is their mobility. And if it's a mobility DPS, it's like, uh, I don't know. They're not going to probably do too much damage. Again, what I'm saying is very subject to change if we see more numbers and everything. But their kit seems weird. It seems like they're definitely close range. Obviously, they're close range. But I don't know how well that's going to work. Like, maybe you might be like an assassin, a catch-out character. Again, very similar to Reaper. The closest thing I can think of is Reaper Tracer. But even then, you know he's coming. Or there, they're coming, God damn it! You know they're coming because you could see the fucking digging. And then once they're out, do they really have the kill potential unless they're on top of you? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think Venture's going to be interesting. So far, I'm not too excited for them, but we'll see. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please tell me what you think about Venture. If there's anything I don't know or I'm wrong on, please let me know. And please watch me live at twitch.tv slash channel. Eee!